might be a little bit different, but I don't know what he's saying, but I agree 100%. The neat thing about the neat thing about marriage is that marriage doesn't belong to any one culture. Doesn't matter what color your skin is, doesn't matter what tongue that you speak, marriage was first instituted by God Himself. And that's what makes it so unique. So it doesn't matter what goes on before, doesn't matter what goes on after, as long as we have invoked that great name and we have joined two people together in holy matrimony. So I know this may not be a whole lot to those of you visiting and friends and family, but I hope it means a lot to Michelle, and I hope it means a whole lot to Rocky. Amen. If you bow your heads with me before I go into the vows, I'm going to say just a very short prayer. I'm not going to preach. I'm not here to preach, but if you just let me pray just a minute. Lord Jesus, I love you tonight. I ask your blessings upon this night, Lord, and what it means for them. We ask for your favor to be upon them and what we have doing, what we are doing right now, last a lifetime. Not days and not weeks and not months, God, but from now until you return and we go by the grave. I pray your blessings upon this man and upon this woman. In Jesus' name, I pray. I want to just say just, just a few things, Rocky and Michelle, and I know there's a lot of... It's hot. Dad, yeah, we got some dancing to do. Well, the night's over, I may try to dance. Who knows? It may hurt somebody, but... <clears throat> but I want to just block out everybody and just talk to you two just a minute here. Marriage is not built by people. Marriage wasn't created by a government or a country. Marriage was created by God Himself. He said, and these two shall become one. One flesh, one purpose, one goal. And I want you to take this night as serious as your culture demands, but even more so as serious as the Bible and Christ himself demands. And I'm going to ask you to repeat after me, and I'm not going to take a long time. This is going to be very short. But I, I do want to tell you that the world, all of our world, puts such a poor emphasis on marriage. They say, if you don't like it, you can leave it. Come along, something better take yet. But that, that's, not, that's not how God views marriage. What you two are doing right now is you are asking the favor of God to sanction. There will be a commitment made in just a few minutes that will last a lifetime because God's going to favor this thing. Your friends, your family are going to sanction that. And that's what we want most of all. To you first, Rocky. Are you ready? It's not too late to run. Oh, there's some big old boys standing over there next to you. <laughs> when I conclude, you just say, I will. Rocky, will you take Michelle to be your wife? Will you commit yourself to her happiness and her self-fulfillment as a person? And to her usefulness in the kingdom of God? Will you promise to love her, to honor her, to trust and to serve her in sickness and in health? in adversity and prosperity, and most of all be true and loyal to her only, as long as you both shall live. This is where you say, I will. Michelle, it's going to be that easy for you too. Michelle, will you take Rocky to be your husband? Will you commit yourself to his happiness and his self-fulfillment as a person, and to his usefulness in the kingdom of God? And do you promise to love, to honor, to trust and to serve him in sickness and in health and adversity and prosperity and most of all be true and loyal only to him so long as you both shall live you will it gives me great honor tonight to pronounce you husband and wife and there is a custom I don't know if it's custom for you but it's custom for me that when I pronounce you Mr. and Mrs. brother and sister is it okay we get to watch you kiss your bride for the first time. But you can't 
good when they pronounce you, so you have to wait. Anything you want to say to him before he kisses? No. I now pronounce you for the first time for the power invested in me as a minister of the gospel in the state of California and all the small print. I now pronounce you man and wife. Rocky, you may kiss your bride. Oh yeah, you have to. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Would you bow your heads and pray with me one more time? Father, thank you for what we have done here. Thank you for sanctioning this. We ask your blessings upon this marriage, upon this night, upon this man and this woman. God, let your favor shine upon them. Let your blessings be upon them. Bless their health. Bless their life. Bless their wealth, God. In the name that is above every name, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen, amen. May God bless you in Jesus' name.